So you have an Xbox with a mod chip that supports an LCD screen, but don't know where to start? Stay tuned and let me show you how it's done. To start, you will need your soldering supplies. Again, I recommend a set of helping hands, wire cutters, and thin gauge wire. I'm using 30 AWG. You will also need your Xbox teardown tools, Torx 10, 15, 20, and a flathead screwdriver. You're going to want to decide where you will be mounting your LCD. For me, I'm going to be putting it on the front left side. It's pretty common to see it on the right, so I'm going to do something a little different. I actually won't be showing you how to mount the LCD in the case as it will be different for everyone depending on location and individual mods. With a little creativity, a rotary tool, and some epoxy, it shouldn't be too tough to figure out. Now take a rough measurement of the length of wire you will need, add a little extra just in case, and cut out 16 pieces at that length, and solder them to the 16 pads on your LCD. Next, you will want to get familiar with your LCD, so find a data sheet for your model. The distinguishing numbers and letter for me were on the rear corner. Keep in mind to buy the right type of LCD for your mod chip. They are typically HD44780 compliant. Mine is 20 by 40 characters in size. You will also need to find a data sheet for your mod chip. Looking at both data sheets together, you will need to match up the appropriate pins. Mine matched up like so. Keep in mind, unless you're hooking up the same chip and LCD, yours will be different. Just use this as a reference. I had to do some special things such as feed in 5 volt from the LPC and use two resistors in place of a potentiometer. Next, boot up your Xbox and go into your mod chip's OS settings. Mine is labeled XLCD. Here you will need to enable your new screen. You can also adjust things like your backlight and add a custom message. Once you're done there, boot up into your dashboard. I'm using Xbox Media Center. Here you will also need to navigate to the settings and enable the LCD. Mine is already enabled. As long as you've done everything right, your screen should be displaying some data. As I've said before, I have very big plans for this Xbox, so be sure to keep an eye out for the video build logs. It's going to be one awesome Xbox. Thanks for watching. I hope this tutorial was able to help you. If it did, please leave a like. If you have any questions, leave a comment and subscribe for more modding goodness. You can follow me on Twitter at TechnoOnTop for channel updates. Also, check out my last video where I show you the basics of wire installing an Xbox mod chip. Till next time, peace.